gang, it's me, Ola, coming at you from the road. Boy, the wind really kicked up. I knew it was coming. It says 15 out of the east. Got a few hours where it was manageable, and then towards the end it started to spit, so I figured I'd better quit while the quitting's good. The main purpose of this trip today was to actually get out and uh, try out the reaction tackle braided fishing line. I wanted to catch fish so that I could see how it felt, if I could feel any difference between that and my twice the price Power Pro Super 8 Slick V2. As far as casting and fighting a fish, I felt no difference. I don't know that I would, but I didn't catch any giants so that I could test the strength of it, but to me it felt great. So I'm, I'm leaving it on. We're going to fish with that on my medium fast bait caster. That, that's my main line there. It's the uh, Reaction Tackle X8 in a moss green. I may order some more once they get the no fade black in stock. I might go ahead and get some 15 pound of that for my spinning reels. Jeez, crank it up. Wasn't a great day of fishing, but then it hasn't been, not since I got back from Maine. It, uh, I caught seven in three hours and I had a couple on top water that were just magnificent. So it was a fun morning and I did manage to get one on the new braid. So 100% successful fishing mission. I give Reaction Tackle two thumbs up. As far as the gloves, I wore those, tried them out. They are a little too big for my hands. They're, they're really long, which isn't a bad thing on my thumb, but the fingers, they were a little long for me. Just they were a little big. So I'll give those to one of my fishing pals. As you can see, it is getting ready to storm and then Tomorrow is storms, so I'm just going to go home and look at all the election mumbo jumbo that's going down, all the shenanigans. Exciting day, super exciting day. Get out and vote. I know by the time you see this, it will, we'll have our new president-elect. So I hope you all went out and uh, did your part and voted. But anyway, how about if we take a look at Reaction Tackle X8 20 pound braided line in action. Good morning, folks. It is 7-Eleven on Tuesday. Happy Election Day. Woohoo! Okay, folks. I'm out here really for one reason. Because it's kind of hot already. It was supposed to be cloudy, but there's not a cloud in the sky. I'm out here to test Reaction Tackles. Their X8 braid. See if we like it, see if we love it, or see if we need to shove it. Aside, I mean. First couple casts, so far so good. It is smooth. 20 pound here with the 20 pound leader. It actually casts really nicely. This is a kind of a light lure I'm throwing. It's the Hybrid Hunter. And there's not a lot of heft to it. it still casts really well. So I'm decked out in Reaction Tackle. I got the shirt, I got the gloves. We're gonna see how the gloves feel when they're wet. Now, one thing I can notice right away, this is really slick on my rod handle, this part where there's no leather. I'm used to a full leather palm, but you know, it might be something to get used to. We'll see, it's a little slick for now. I'm gonna throw different baits on this bait caster. This is normally my smaller crankbait, my small paddle tail, really anything half ounce or less. 
I use uh, small jigs, chatter baits, anything that doesn't require a heavy rod, I throw it on this combo. It's a little easier on the hands than having a, a heavy rod. This crankbait only goes down about three to, three, it says three to four, probably around three if I'm lucky. So let's, let's put on, what else do I have here that's not super heavy? Let's put on a swim jig here, three eighth ounce. There we go. We got a three eighth ounce swim jig with the Stanley dual threat trailer see if there's anybody in this vegetation here it's still rather deep 15 feet right here so we need to get down down and dirty cast the jig just fine Good long cast, and I thought I kind of had it overspooled, but she's doing good. Come on, clouds. Let's drop it right into the vegetation there. It's supposed to be super windy right now, but thankfully the forecast was wrong. I was gonna go somewhere else just to be protected from the wind. And I passed this little area and I said, this will work for right now anyway. A couple of hours is all I need. Yeah, these are super slick on this. I'm probably going to choose not to keep these gloves, though I do like the rest of them. I just need that palm to be leather because if I get a big fish on this, it's going to be tough to hang on to. And it's not out of the question to get an eight pounder anywhere in any of the places I fish. It can happen. Swim jig casts really well. Look at that. Easily. That was an effortless cast. Ten feet of water. Water's come down a little bit, maybe a foot since the last time I was here. I bet those people still aren't in their home on the island. Oh, did you guys see that? <laughs> I had a follower. Let's throw it back out there. Okay, I got some attention on the, the swim jig. I'm going to let it sink. Slow, let's bump it off the bottom. All right, we're going to put on, we're going to go a little shallower and we're going to put on the Savage Gear swim bait. I had one follow on that. And that was it. Now this little swim bait casts like garbage. So don't hold it against the, see that it just like tumbles. We get in the shallower water here. The only time this really casts great is when you've got a tailwind. It's just hard to keep it from tumbling. Now there should be some bigs up in this vegetation here. Let's give this savage gear some some water time. Tumbelina. I do like the braid. Still in 10 feet of water. I think we're still too deep for this here swim bait. I get in shallower though. I'm going to get wrecked with the pads. So let's keep finding some area here. Okay, a big fat not a, on the Savage Gear, so let's put on a Gambler Big Easy Paddle Tail. There we go. Let's see if they'll hit this baby. 
They might give it a follow because they followed the other paddle tail. Good long cast. Let her sink. Yeah, the braid's great, folks. I have no complaints. Time will tell, but first impression is a good one. Sure love to hook up with the monster on it so I could give it a toughness test. Let's hit these pads over here. I'm about ready to drop down some finesse from my other my other combos. See if see if we can get bit on that. They're sure not hitting moving baits. Okay, we're gonna put on next bait. This might be a little big for the mood that they're in. Let's put on the um, I have a Buckeye Jigs, like a, there we go, it's just a little, little underspin with a Stanley dual threat, that's real subtle, casts really nicely too. Letting it sink and just swimming it off the bottom. Through the grasses, around the pads. Wow, fish, you are really in a mood. I don't know how they can resist this paddle tail. It's just nice little morsel with shaking tail and that swiveling silver blade on it. It's a beautiful bait. No one wants it. Oh gosh, guys, what a smash, what a smash. So they're ready for some top water. What a smash right at the boat. He wasn't hooked super well either. First fish of the day. Look at the porker's belly. Wow. Well, he was hooked okay. He had one one barb in him. <laughs> what a beauty. Thank you, fish. Let go. All right, I put a little whopper plopper on. I think this is a 90, maybe. Since they are active on the top water, I just got that one. Let's see if they'll hit this. This has quite a high-pitched little gurgle. All right, I think I want to go right around here. Go back up this way. Right past pads, little sporadic pads. The 
this thing casts a mile on this reel. All right, let's keep throwing it for a bit. See if we can get a, a fish on it. They just, uh, they aren't hitting anything. Let me throw that big swim, that big top water again. Let's see if they'll hit that again. feet of water. Temp is 77 degrees. Hasn't been cool here at all. It's a good fish. On the tiny child it's a tough bite again today, as usual. Still haven't caught one on the, the bait caster yet. Come here, fish. Bass number two, smaller than the first. Thank you, fish. I'll take it though. That's a good one. Not. They must have been in some pads down there. I'm in a little spot though. Little Dinkarooski. Thanks, fish. All right, we're gonna try a little, little lipless crank. Small size. I think it's a quarter, quarter ounce. I ended up tying it straight to the fluoro because my little clip thing was bending. And if I get a big fish, I can't have it bending out. So I have to get some different clips. Got a good wind now. Got some clouds. It's pretty warm out here. I am just throwing in and around this grass. There has to be some big fish in here. Some big fish. Ripping it, ripping it through the grass. Let's see if I can get it through this grass. Probably won't. We're gonna pull it right through all this grass. Ah, oh, boy, we've got what three fish? Three fish. Ah.
there's one. Oh yeah. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Not really. I thought it was better. Oh, <laughs> we got it on the correct. We got it on the uh, reaction tackle braid though. Right there, folks. I think it's bass number four. There he goes. Fish stick to these gloves real bad too. It's that light nylon. Good on one hand, bad on the other. Not literally, but you know what I mean. There's bass number four. Got a lot of grass patches out here, some way out in the middle. I'm just gonna hit these and go around. Getting close to the flooded areas. Newly flooded, this used to be just a couple of feet deep. Right here, and we're now nine feet. Yeah, I bet all these were underwater. I know that big RV shed was underwater. Holy crap, it looks like that house is empty too. That's the boat they use for a ferry to get out to the island. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, it's in the grass. Oh, I think he got off. I think he got off. Can't tell. Let's see if he swims. Oh, he's on. He's on. It's a little turd. He was in the grass. Woo! Number five. Still underwater here. Way underwater. There's another foot higher, it looks like. I can see the water line. Still a lot of water. The island home is still on an island. Oh, good hit. Good hit. That little dude just pummeled it. Oh, he just caught his own tail. His fins are up. Number six. Good hit, fish. I'm heading back real quick. That does not look good. Let's cut through here. Fish my way back, but we're going to make it quick. This should turn on the bite if we're about to get storms. There's a fish. Oh my word. Oh my word. Little dude, little dude. I gotta check. Ah, oh, there he goes. No, go the other way. I can't reach him. I can't reach the fish. Come on, fish. Jeez. Jeez. Give me a break. Very close to being rained on. We're gonna head towards the truck. 
Well, that was a fun couple of hours. I'll take it.